we're going to look at order Edentata, also known as suborder Xenartha. And these are armadillos and sloths and anteaters. They are in Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Cordita, Subphylum Vertebrata, Class Mammalia. So they are mammals. These are the sloths, anteaters, and armadillos. The superorder is divided into two other orders, Pelosa and Singulata. You can find xenanthrins. They're found in a variety of habitats from South America to Southern USA. So just a small region there. Um, characteristics. Uh, Latin for without teeth. They all lack front teeth. Some have anomalous teak teeth. So they have teeth in their cheeks. The anteaters have no teeth at all. They have two to three very long fingers on each hand. Mostly insectivores. Some herbivores. <coughs> Xenarthra means strange joints. They have unusual joints in the backbone. Their vertical jo vertebral joints have extra articulations that are unlike those of any other mammals. They have a small brain. They often have low me metabolic rates and slow body temperatures. Sloths are extremely slow moving mammals found in the rainforest canopies of Central and South America. There are two families of sloth, two toed and three toed. Most sloths are about the size of a small dog and have short rounded heads and long coarse fur. Their hair is grayish brown, but it looks like green gray because they move so slowly that tiny symbiotic algae grows all over their coats, camouflaging them. Sloths love hanging upside down and do almost all their activities hanging from trees. They eat, sleep, mate, and even give birth upside down. Babies cling to their mothers until they are able to care for themselves. They sleep inside upside down from trees for up to 18 hours at a time. Some are nocturnal, while others are active during the day. They live about 30 years. They can defend themselves with their long claws, but best defense is camouflage and slow movement. They mainly feed on leaves, but also eat some fruits, buds, and even small vertebrates. They eat very slowly and only need a little bit of food because their metabolism is so slow. It doesn't take much energy. It takes nearly a week for a sloth to digest a meal. Anteaters live in grasslands, savannas, and open tropical forests in South and Central America. We usually see anteaters on land, but they are actually really good at swimming and climbing trees. They have long tubular snout with tiny mouth and very long, thin tongue that's covered by sticky saliva. They can flick their tongue in and out up to 160 times a minute. They have no teeth. Instead of chewing, they crush their food using hard growths on the inside of the mouth. Their diet consists mainly of ants, termites, and other insects. Their sense of smell is so acute that they can identify a particular species of ant or termite before they rip open the prey's nest. They walk on their knuckles and have long hook-like claws that curve under their paws when an anteater walks. These claws are used for um, digging and for self-defense. They have terrible eyesight, but a very keen sense of smell. They range in size from 6 ounces up to 86 pounds. The biggest is a giant anteater, which is 7 feet long. There are 24, uh, 20 different species of armadillos. Armadillos is a Spanish word meaning little armored one. The most easily recognized feature of the armadillo is a protective armor-like covering, hardened skin on their head, back, sides, and limbs. They tend to live in temperate and warm habitats in South America. They are mostly insectivores but will also eat plants and carry on. Armadillos generally have a pointy or shovel-shaped snout and small eyes. They have poor eyesight but a keen sense of smell. Most species dig burrows and sleep up to 16 hours a day. They tend to forage in early morning and evening using their long sticky tongues. Armadillos are built to dig. They have short, strong legs with strong claws and are well suited for rapid digging, either in the food or shelter. They rely on their armored shells for defense, while they scuttle away and dig themselves into a hole to hide in. Because their backs are covered with foam, most armadillos are not very flexible. One species, the three-banded armadillo, can roll itself into a ball. 
They vary in size from six inches long to five feet long. Population numbers of nearly all species are threatened by habitat loss and overhunting, but their lifespan can be 12 to 15 years in captivity. The nine-banded armadillo is the only armadillo found in the U.S. When startled, they can, stop, they can jump straight up in the air three to four feet. Unfortunately, many armadillos are killed when they jump into the underside of moving vehicles. The now extinct species predecessor of the current armadillo look like giant armadillo but with a mace on the end of its tail. They lived about 2.2 2 million to 15,000 years ago in South America. Here's more facts. The end. <laughs>